Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As was noted in the previous lesson, you can click a button or link within the print dialog box or pane of an application that is often called Properties, Page Setup, Settings, or something similar depending on the application, to open a dialog box that allows you to adjust printer settings for the Adobe PDF printer within the program. The Adobe PDF Settings tab that appears within this dialog box lets you adjust the conversion settings for your PDF. On the Adobe PDF Settings tab, you can select the preset default settings to use for the production of the PDF file by choosing the name of the preset settings to use from the default settings dropdown. These preset settings include options for print quality, color conversion, press quality, and file size. Note that you can click the adjacent edit button or hyperlink to create new or modify existing preset settings within the Adobe PDF settings dialog box if needed. In this lesson you will learn how to do that. When you first open the Adobe PDF settings dialog box you will see the name of the currently selected preset settings shown in the title bar at the top of the dialog box. You will also see the name of the preset displayed in the diagram in the upper left corner of this dialog box with the categories you use to modify the individual settings within the preset listed below it. You can double click the name of the preset shown in this diagram to collapse and expand its categories. The categories of settings for each preset are general, images, fonts, color, advanced, and standards. To view all of the available presets, check the Show All Settings checkbox under the diagram to display all the presets available. You can click the name of the presets to select them and double click them to expand and collapse their individual category settings. To create a new preset of settings, first select the existing preset that most closely resembles the settings you want to use. You can select the standard choice to duplicate the default settings. After selecting the desired preset of settings to use, click the Save As button at the bottom of the Adobe PDF Settings dialog box to open a Save Adobe PDF Settings As dialog box. It is important that you do not change the location shown within the dialog box so that Acrobat can correctly load your custom preset settings in the future. Type the name that you want to give to this new preset into the file name field. Also note that this type of file is Adobe PDF settings file with a .job options file extension. After entering the name for the new preset, click the Save button to save the set into the folder shown. You will then see the name of the custom preset of settings appear within the listing shown in the Adobe PDF settings dialog box. You can then select it just as you would any other set of settings. To modify the settings within your custom preset settings, click the desired category that appears underneath the expanded view of the preset settings within the Adobe PDF Settings dialog box to then edit the settings within that category in the area to the right. After making the changes that you want within the desired categories, click the OK button at the bottom of the dialog box to save the changes and return to the print dialog box. The next several lessons within this chapter will discuss the individual settings that you can change within each preset settings category. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.